Hi, my name is Jillian Shaughnessy. I am a first year post-professional master's athletic training student at the University of South Carolina. Today, I want to show you guys all about myofascial decompression using cups. So for cupping, you should first educate the patient and their parent, if they are a minor, about what they're used for, which is to, in this case, decompress the muscles and the fascia in the lower leg. Also, um, we should go over the contraindications with the patient and make sure that none of them are present. Then um, let's talk about some of the things to expect after cupping. We should do this treatment about once or twice a week, um, depending on the patient's um, condition. And then we should also expect some bruising, ecchymosis, and maybe some soreness after the cups, um, depending on the patient. So let's get into it. We're going to do the lower leg on the peroneals. And this is especially good for runners, dancers, and people who have lateral ankle sprains um, to help them recover. So we'll find the peroneals here and use this device to suction out some air. And this will help us get some of the decompression. And then again down here. And then we're going to ask the patient, can you please evert your ankle? Great, and keep going nice and slow. We're going to do this for about 10 minutes. And then afterwards, we can pull this here to release the suction from the cups. Thank you.